this week on our New Brunswick adventure brings us to a place that I can only describe as Jurassic Park. This is a once in a lifetime trip of a lifetime and we are here in Long Lake Adventure Lodge in New Brunswick. You say this is a once in a lifetime trip of a lifetime? Yes. Once in a lifetime? Heck no. No. This is right in our own backyard. We are dead center in the province of New Brunswick in a place that most people might not even have heard of. Yeah, no, it's 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 definitely a spot that if you haven't heard of it, the first thing you need to do is look it up. The second thing you need to do is book your trip. Absolutely. We are here for a couple days and we're here to enjoy some world-class lake trout fishing. The lake also has a tremendous landlocked salmon population, but uh, I mean, everything that Clay and his family have set up here, we have beautiful weather on our side. Donnie. Uh, I, I just want to get out on the water. I'm not speechless very often, but here I am because this is the place that I've been waiting to come to most. So, for those of you watching at home, please enjoy this episode. We put a lot of work into figuring out these fish. We've got some special techniques we want to show you. So, welcome to Fish East, Long, Long Lake. Lake. Yeah, I can catch some shallow, I can catch some deer. Muddy water or the back of the creek. The wind and rain to me, it's all the same. I make a living playing this game. And I thank the Lord above every time I can. I get to be a fisherman. Reposition your bait so you know where you're located. So when you're tracking one of those follows on the screen, you're 100% uh, sure that that's your fish, your bait, and that way you're going to be ready when they strike. There he is. Oh, it's a nice one. She's burping. Vertical jigging for lake trout here at Long Lake Adventures. We've been here for 20 minutes and we've already got one on. Gorgeous lake trout. Oh. Come here. It's pretty exciting because I uh, woke up this morning, could barely sleep last night, just dreaming about what lake trout fishing would be in New Brunswick. And I'll tell you what, this is a great way to introduce somebody to just trophy fishing. Oh my goodness, look at this fish. You're coming up. Something's coming up. Mm, just make sure that drag is set just right. I gave her a second hook set to make sure they do have harder mouths. Got a half ounce jig head on with a nice paddle tail swim bait. Nice. Fish. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Take your time. Here we go. We're gonna land this fish. There she is. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, that right there is my first ever New Brunswick lake trout. And I tell you what, if these are the type of lake trout that swim in these waters. Oh, look at that. Fell right out. Just real simple setup. Jig head, swim bait, and a fluorocarbon leader. This water here is really clear. We're gonna get this guy in quickly. Water's nice and cooled down, so we're gonna talk about turnover and what's happening with the lake right now here in the fall. But let's get this guy back in first. Well, make sure you revive them. Oh! If this is a taste of what's about to go down this weekend, 
This is One Happy Angler. Hope you guys enjoyed this at home. We're going to try to break this lake down for you. We've never fished for lake trout before. Apparently there's landlocked salmon in here as well. We're going to show you the simple techniques that you're going to need to come to Long Lake Adventures and find success. Let's get at it. When winter arrives, the temperature drops. And here in the Maritimes, our excitement rises. We embrace the adventures that cold weather brings, like new discoveries with old friends, a hot plunge on a chilly night, familiar faces in cozy new spots, and fun days that become chill nights. In New Brunswick, we know how to do winter. And our jigging for lake trout continues. Oh, this one's got some spunk. You gotta make sure that drag is just right. Not too tight, but enough. So if you decide to go for a run like this, you can manage them. I want to talk about gear for a second. When you're doing this type of stuff, it's nothing fancy. I'm just running a seven foot medium spinning rod on a 2,500 reel. Not even jigging a real heavy jig head. It's only a half ounce, but it's enough to get down. You get conditions like we have today. It's got a little chop on the water, but nothing not manageable. I'm just drifting over nice and slow, marking them on the sonar and dropping down that jig. And there you go. Let's get her in. Yes, sir. Nice sir. Thank you. Not the biggest one that we have here, but really cool thing about this fish is we spotted him down in 85 foot of water and he come and chase that little swim bait right up almost to 30 foot. What a freaking athlete. That's all I got to say about these lake trout. And that, look at those colors in the fall. All right, let's go ahead and put this back in. Just give them some time to revive when they're ready to go. Long Lake is a big bowl and you, as you can see we're in 74 foot of water. This is a traditional sonar that you see on the left and on the right where you're looking at is panoptics and the advantage of panoptics is that you get to see the fish swimming around in real time. That does two things for you. Number one, it confirms the fact that you're looking at actual fish. But number two, what we're doing is being able to experiment with our presentations and seeing how they react in real time. And here's the fish chasing up to Donnie right now. He's hovering around Donnie's jig. Can you get him to go, Don? He grabbed, it. he grabbed at it. And that's the beauty of panoptics. You get to fool around. It's a video game. And we've been able to mark this structure right here, which seems to be a big boulder. And there's some fish holding tight to that structure. Yeah, I think he's pinned. When you come up here to Long Lake Adventures, you can take full advantage of your electronics, find yourself some really nice fish. We were watching these ones on the, on the finder. We're using Garmin Pan Optics, and it is an absolute game changer in finding these beautiful Long Lake Lake Trout. This guy's stopped. Ready? Got in the net we go. Just an absolutely beautiful Long Lake Lake Trout, and uh, I'm hoping to hoping to say this again later today, but that's definitely my personal best. And he's off. Feels good. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Vertical digging. Long Lake Adventures Lake Trout. We're in the northwestern portion of New Brunswick. Oh, 
This guy's got some spunk. He's got some spunk. He's not happy he's hooked, Donnie. Yeah. Look yeah. at that rod. It's just oh, bent it's over. Just bent over. It's really world class. Oh, absolutely. I've, I've been all over the place fishing lake trout, Donnie, and I'll tell you. Not hard to find them. Amazing average size. 2,200 plus acre lake. And uh, so far we've just touched the surface. Jeez. Uh. You know, with the right tools and the right technique, you can catch lake trout just like this. And bigger. And bigger. There we go. He's not the biggest one, but man, did he put up a fight. He had, he had some guts. Another nice chunky, I mean, look at those shoulders on that. And the coloration in the fall is just incredible. You know, uh, if you get out here, the, the latter part of the season, right before they spawn, they really start changing color and their, their pattern just really glisten. You can see the orange hue starting to come into the belly. Absolutely, look at the color on that fish. Absolutely beautiful. And that's the thing, you know, what we're showing today is some advanced techniques. You know, we've been all over the place. We've shown you folks at home accessible opportunities. This is just as accessible. It's not too expensive, but if you get the right gear and the right tactics, you find success just like this. And maybe hook the trophy of your lifetime. Let's get that back in. Thank you for being safe, for being fun, for being strong. Thank you for taking a tour, or seeing old friends, or new places. Thank you for visiting your own backyard and rediscovering its beauty. Thank you for having fun and being sensible about it. Thank you for visiting your province and falling in love again. Thank you, New Brunswick. Let's keep going. We're up here at Long Lake Adventures, just outside of Plaster Rock this weekend. Joining us right now is owner Clay Harrison. Clay, first off, I want to thank you for having us here. It's our pleasure. You have an amazing setup here. Multiple cabins. Your biggest cabin holds how many? Eight comfortably. Eight. And your smallest would be? Uh, two bedrooms with two beds each. Okay, so four people. How many people could you house at any given time? We've got upwards of 40-some beds. 40-some beds. Yeah. That's unreal. When people hit the water here, uh, we talked about this earlier, 2,200 acre? 2,250. 2,250 acre lake, surrounded by some of the most pristine wilderness you'll find anywhere in this province. This truly is an experience you don't want to miss. Clay, thanks again. Thank you, Don. So something you got to be conscious of when you're fishing later season, the water temperature's coming down, you know, we're looking at 56, 57 degree surface temp, down 70 feet, this time of year, they're getting ready to spawn. So what you want to look for is not just a onesie or twosie single. What you're trying to find is what we call a wolf pack of fish. And that's when they group together. We happen to find a nice boulder in about 70 something feet of water. And it's just been nonstop action. They're competing for food. You get your jig down there and you make a ruckus. And next thing you know, push on. <laughs> Just like that. Oh, jeez. Oh, How's that for practicing what you preach? Oh. Definitely want to make sure your drag is perfectly set because at any moment they could give a big old swing. <coughs> Another nice one. And they just shake their head hard. These fish are just stacked up on a rock. One or two boulders together. And uh, between fish coming to the boat and, and bites and strikes, it's been uh, basically non-stop for probably the last 20 minutes. You know, the other thing we didn't talk about, Donnie, pan optics is one thing. The other thing that's critical if you want to do this type of fishing, vertical jigging for lake trout, you need to have a trolling motor in the front that has a feature called spot lock or a GPS lock that keeps you on the spot. So as you're cruising around, you're marking these fish, 
It's great to have the sonar, but if you don't have the right trolling motor to keep you on top of these fish, you'll never be able to jig to them vertically. And really, they need that vertical presentation. You can sit here all day and cast out and retrieve. They're not gonna go for it. They want it down and up, down and up, end of story. This is that same rock. Ben and I are basically fishing side by side. And uh, uh, this is a bigger fish, guys. Throwing, oh, the, yeah. throwing the bait straight side by side and we'll see them coming up. And we're actually fishing so close together. We're not even sure which bait it's gonna strike. Donnie, I didn't even see this fish come into the screen. And uh, at this point, it seems like he's got the hot hand today, but uh, if he keeps catching Lakers like this, I, I really don't mind playing that man. <laughs> They're amazing. This guy came out of nowhere. I didn't even see him on the screen. Oh, wow. Not that big. There we go. Donnie, I could spend a lifetime catching fish like oh, this all day. Without a doubt. But you know what's incredible? Is that, well, how far are we from Fredericton here? Just give, give the folks, an exa you know, Three, eight, three and a half hours out of Fredericton, because uh, we're not going to lie to you folks, it's a drive to get here. You literally spend roughly an hour on what is essentially an active logging road. Um, this is a, a, a leased lake, leased piece of property uh, in the middle of private timber stands. And it's really a, 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 a unique opportunity, a unique location. You know, a, leave your cell phone at home or leave it in the car, because when you get here, you've got no service. This is a place to get away, enjoy some of the most beautiful scenery you're ever gonna see, and catch some world-class lake trout. We're all looking for the perfect escape. Some of us want to slow down, be still, and savor. While others are always in search of the next boundary to push. The perfect escape means something different to everyone. But the common thread is connecting to what brings us to another world. One that's just the perfect amount of a way. Book your escape. Visit tourismnewbrunswick.ca. Double header, long lake adventures, lake trout. Oh. All right, that's one. Come over here. <laughs> Double header, ladies and gentlemen. What a spot. Oh my goodness. I have never fished lake trout before. I can promise you, Go I'm gonna fish lake trout again. No, take it. This is unbelievable. I mean, just, we, we decided to stay out. The sun's going down, it's a beautiful night. And man, that little bit extra time on the water is really paying off. I mean, and we get a double. Double, double. header. Oh, good one. Nate's got a big one. Right Nate's got a big one. Nate's got a big one. Come here, Nate. Mine's gone. Oh, this is a big one. Take it easy, take it easy, take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. He's not ready to go yet. I got oh that's a toad. This is a big one. Woo! Nate. You know it's good when the cameraman is catching some big toads here on Long Lake. <laughs> Alright, let's get that jig head up. These pliers right there. Donnie, did you get one hooked up too? I was hooked up, but uh, I kind of was paying attention. I heard biggin and I looked over my shoulder and mine was gone. Nature. This is this is a beautiful New Brunswick Long Lake lake trout. A lot of people don't know this, but a lake trout actually is not even a trout at all. It's actually a char. Look it up. Part of the char family. All right, Nate, you got him. There's a big one. Oh! Hold on a second. Let's show the camera. Let's show the folks at home this fish right here. Yes, sir. 
What a beauty. Woo! Look at the girth on that, Nate. How you feel? That's exhilarating. Seeing that big fella come off the bottom and we just reeled up to it and all of a sudden that rod just loaded up. That is a nice long lake, lake trout. Now that time I really had to finesse him and really bother him until he would even look at my jig. That's one of our deepest fish so far. Beauty. Oh, it's a big one. That's a big fish. Yep. Another beautiful long lake, lake trout. Ready? Here we go. Yes, oh. sir! Oh my. That might be my best one for the weekend. Oh man, is that heavy, Donnie? That's heavy. You yeah. ready? All right. Okay, let's lose. Go. You good? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's a thick fish. Alright. Stay up here, stay up here. Give me a players. Thank you. Let's get that done right away. Alright, hold on. That is my best lake trout of the weekend for sure. Look how thick that is. Oh what a fight. Look, I'll tell you what, we've been showing you guys the techniques and the tactics we've been using all weekend long. Garmin Pan Optics, spot lock technology on the trolling motor, identifying what they want, downsizing, and hey, I hope you can take something home with you. You guys get out here, catch some world-class lake trout like this. I'll tell you what, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time right here on Fish East. Let's get this back in the water. Oh, he hit it. Darn it. Oh, jeez. to be a